Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you could see it and you could purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing a delightful 2009 limited edition of 500 pieces. This is the Panerai Luminar 1950 Regatta Retropont. Panerai PAM332. The timepiece, PAM332. 44 millimeters in the 1950 case with black DLC coating, imposing on the wrist and dedicated to Panerai's sponsorship of the Classic Yachts Challenge. On my 16 centimeters circumference wrist, the watch is easy to wear, but a little bit chunky at 18.1 millimeters, much of that due to the plexiglass inspired camber of the vaulted sapphire on this watch. Easy to wear across the wrist, 53.8 millimeters with stubby lugs. I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 15 centimeters circumference. 24 millimeters, the spacing between the lugs for this PAM332, and the strap that's fitted is a burly calfskin in matching black, all black, calfskin on the top, monotone stitch, a broad folded edge, more calfskin on the underside. You can see this is a new Officine Panerai Italian leather strap, handmade and uncrimped, ungouged. You will have first rights with this strap. The pin buckle in outstanding condition. It is steel and black DLC to match the case, and the case is the Luminor 1950 profile, meaning it's a little bit more complex than a conventional Luminor, and it's inspired directly by the 1950s Panerai reference 6152, which we would later come to identify as the Luminor shape. You can see it's a little bit more complex than the Luminor shape we knew in the 1990s with the first civilian Panerai models. We have the PIM24 right here in stainless steel with the Betterini case, and the Betterini case featuring a little bit of a sharper, more angular appearance. So this is the design from Alessandro Betterini of Officine Panerai in the early 90s, and it's still beloved, still in production. It's just a very different profile than the more historically oriented 1950. All satin finish to mute glare. You can see the Lux themselves feature a quick release system that includes a spring-loaded bar release. So you depress the trigger on the bottom, and then you push the bar through. The bar Bars, when in place, offer more security than conventional wristwatch spring bars, but you can break a toothpick in two and actually remove this, this strap, and it's a 24mm spacing. It uses standard 24mm straps, so you get the best of both worlds. A quick release system, but you don't have to use a proprietary strap. The timepiece featuring the iconic device protecting the crown, a locking lever with a crown guard that, as you can see, offers more protection than a standard shouldered crown guard. This was developed during the 1940s and implemented in the 1950s by Panerai, so it's both a design icon, and let's face it, you know exactly who made this watch, there's no question. Uh, it also offers you more of a clue if your watch is unlocked before you jump in the water. It's easy to miss a few th turns of a screw and crown, but this is a little bit more flagrant, so you're going to know to lock that down. You can see it features the post-2007 runner bearing inside the cam, so the action is smoother. And it also saves your seal because, and this was the original idea, instead of threading the crown in and out repeatedly as with a screw down crown and wearing down the seal with a threaded stem, you just simply lock and unlock, compress and decompress the seal. The system allows you to immediately access the crown for winding if you wish, or for setting. You can see the watch features a hacking seconds function, then you just lock it right back down. Total peace of mind and protection. Looks good, still innovative and distinctive of the brand. Now this is a split second chronograph. As you can see, there is a split second function that allows you to time two concurrent events and then find the split or the difference between them. Now the split second mechanism is built on top of a dial featuring an inverse hobnail. You've seen an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. Well, this is the opposite of that. Rather than raised hobnails, they are indented or negative hobnails, creating a little bit of a mesh appearance on a matte dial designed to resist glare. You have bi-Arabic numerals with a lovely and evocative open six, white print, keyline, bloom, and blue accents, the timepiece with a tachymeter scale outboard, albeit calibrated to very high units, so I'm assuming that if we're engaging in regatta, we're going to include power boats and in the fun. No date dial, beautifully balanced with blackened hands, so you just see the loomed sections floating. The watch is powered by what Panerai calls caliber OP8. I call it a Valjoux 7750 modified by La Jupere. This is the La Jupere. 8601 RAC, 31 joules, automatic winding with unidirectional action. It features a 28.8 beat rate, and the 31 joule compares to the 25 joules of a standard value 7750, so you get a sense of all of the modifications made in here. 42 hour power reserve with the stop seconds capability and COSC Swiss chronometer certification, so very accurate. It also features that column wheel action, as the original cam mechanism has been replaced with a column wheel that adds a crisper feel when 
actuating the chronograph. So it's a more traditional and upscale architecture. And as you can see, it features instant jumping minutes, yet another refinement. This is a technically impressive watch with the image of the Panerai Classic Yachts Challenge logo on the reverse side, the locking lever, the 2009 model year Classic Yachts Challenge, regatta competition for restored classic yachts, and the timepiece water resistant down to 100 meters. So if you fall off of your classic yacht, this watch has your back. You can see and you can own this regatta Retropont PAM332 and make it yours on the watch box. The Panerai Luminor. 1950 Regatta, the PAM332 by night, a broadly calibrated dial.